Hey what's up everyone, it's Steph from Steph Lee Films. In today's video, I will talk about how I recently upgraded my production quality by using Custer, a dedicated CDN platform for live streaming. So how did my production quality improve? What's a CDN? Is this service for you? And finally, why did I choose Custer among all their competitors? In this video, I will break them down into easily digestible bits. So grab your popcorn on the aircon, stay tuned and watch on. So, background story on how this all happened. Recently, I was doing one of my wedding live streams for one of my wedding couples and they wanted to create sort of a wedding web page to show their pre-wedding photos, short video of them thanking their guests, an online guest book and of course, an embedded live stream of their wedding day on the wedding day itself. So I said, yes, of course, I can do that for you. And my first question and the most important question was, how many online viewers are you expecting for your live stream? They said, probably 10 to 20 max because we don't think there'll be many people watching. So I said, okay, we can go ahead and do a simple one. And we went ahead with creating the web page. So I uploaded the photos, short video and hosted the scheduled live stream from YouTube and created an embedded player on the web page, which was hosted on my own website. So we were ready. So the big day came. 15 minutes before the live stream started, viewers started to come in. You can see the little numbers and this small icon on YouTube that goes three, four, five, seven, eight. okay. So I went to prepare some slides at the side and the next thing I knew, bam, there were 98 people in the live stream. Suddenly someone tapped my shoulder and said, hey Steph, I can't access the website anymore. I look at my laptop, refresh, and the website was down my website crashed and from the corner of my eye the bride was standing at the door ready to walk in so quick thinking i passed the direct youtube link to a separate whatsapp chat group from the couple and told them to disseminate the direct link to anyone or everyone who could possibly be watching and our story i survived so three points to take away from this real life story that i personally experienced Number one, always test your setup a few times before the actual event so when accidents like this happen, you know how to rectify them immediately because you know what's happening, you have the overall big picture. Second, accidents do happen on live streams, always. So always have a backup plan. It may not be the best, but always have a backup plan. And third, myself, I cannot allow this to happen again. So I need a more reliable method of doing my live stream business. So with an understanding of my background story on why I want to improve my production quality, next up, what is a CDN? As the name suggests, a CDN is a content delivery network, a system of geographically distributed servers used to transport media files. This removes the bottleneck of traffic that could result from delivering streams with a single server as only a single stream is required for each rendition of an outbound video. As always, in my videos, I will simplify all this mumbo jumbo jargon for you. Assuming this is the world, here I am in Singapore doing a live stream. So if I have viewers from all over the world, my content gets delivered as a single stream source from where I am based in. So based on my hosting plan and bandwidth allocated by my web host, a number of viewers, a few viewers all over the world is fine. But what if the numbers suddenly get too huge? Like the example I gave earlier where a lot of live viewers just came into the video to the live stream. A bottleneck is created, slowing down traffic, and eventually the website crashes. On the other hand, a CDN service has a system of their own servers distributed worldwide. To make it simple to understand, let's say there's one dedicated server in each continent in the world. So the viewers from US will dial in to the US server, the viewers from Europe will dial in to the European server, and Asian viewers to the Asia server. You get the point. So in this way, instead of say 100 people from all over the world coming in directly to the Singapore server, we now can have 10 viewers connected to each of the 10 servers distributed worldwide, 
which of course reduces the load on the servers. A real life example is Amazon. You guys buy from Amazon, right? So when you submit an order to Amazon, the distribution center closest to you attempts to fill it. That warehouse will either have the product available to send directly to you, or they will request it from another distribution center, which explains why sometimes certain products you order from Amazon, it gets delivered so fast, and sometimes it is a little bit slower. Likewise, when you attempt to stream a video from a CDN network, the edge server closest to you attempts to deliver it. The server will either have the media files cached, or it will send a request to another nearby server that does. Hence, a CDN uses a large network of servers placed strategically around the globe to distribute content quickly. Once the content is posted, it populates all over the world. So when a user wants to watch a live stream, the CDN automatically selects the server closest to them to deliver it. The media files remain ready for another user in the same area once it is cached on a local server. So now that you have a basic understanding of what a CDN is and how it can help you, let me share briefly what are the benefits of using a CDN for live streaming. Number one, scalability. This is by far the biggest selling point of using a CDN. It is the fastest and most reliable way to get your content in front of numerous viewers anywhere in the world as you saw from my drawings earlier. Best part of it, CDNs can accommodate viral viewership spikes and larger than expected live audiences. Number 2. Quality Streaming through a CDN allows you to achieve the best user experience. Let me ask you, what is the most irritating part of watching a bad stream? buffering, delays, audio out of sync immediately comes to mind. With a huge network across the globe, CDNs provide the best quality by sending fast streams across the servers worldwide. Number three, reliability. CDNs provide an extra layer of security through redundancy. Streaming through a CDN can help prevent distributed denial of service attacks which occur when a site or resource is flooded by multiple simultaneous attempts to breach it, which again was what happened to me in my example. So a redundant CDN with multiple access points enable failover, meaning to say, if this server is overloaded with too many viewers, there are nearby servers that the spillover viewers can log into, so as an overall picture, the service is still ongoing smoothly. In comparison, you won't have any backup options when streaming with a single server, like my server. So if that server goes down, everything is dead. With so many benefits of a CDN, every live streamer out there should jump on this amazing bandwagon, right? No. Which leads us to this third point of this video. Is this service for you? Yes, CDNs provide many benefits, but they don't make sense for every use case. Two examples I can give. Number one, small scale streaming. If you have a small number of viewers or if your geographic scale is limited, you probably don't need a CDN. Generally, unless your viewers are widely distributed, you can stream to all your users from a single server. Because the more elements you introduce into your streaming workflow, the more opportunities for failure, right? So why do so unless you have to? Next up, limited budget. The cost of using a CDN platform may not be cheap for some users as we cannot assume that everyone is willing to pay an X amount of dollars per month for this service. So in my case, I do need this CDN service because I consolidated the list of requirements from both my wedding and corporate jobs. And this list is what I came up with streaming to multiple platforms, embeddable player on their website, preferably with no branding, backup copies on cloud, stream security features, and of course, competitive pricing. In all my videos, I've always stressed that my operation costs are the first thing that I will look for, which is pricing. I admit it. As much as I have a huge list of requirements, money always comes in as one of the most important factors. Remember my point? about price versus value. It does not necessarily have to be the cheapest, but most importantly, the service I choose must give me the best value. And here I am, arriving at my fourth and last point of this video, choosing my CDM provider. 
So after hours and hours of research, I finally decided on a platform, which is Custer. So what is Custer? It is a simplified video broadcasting platform to live stream and deliver your video content around the globe, across any devices, in minutes. So why choose Custer? Did it meet all my basic requirements I listed earlier? Yes, it is able to stream to multiple platforms. The embedded player has no branding. There is cloud recording, password protection, geo-blocking and whitelisting for security. And most importantly, its pricing is the most competitive among its competitors. I mean, with these amazing features and the top value for money, what am I waiting for, right? But wait. As a well-informed consumer and due to the brilliance of the internet and the click of a mouse, I did my due diligence and checked out reviews of Custer. What I also found out was that they provide a 24 by 7 tech support and this tech support service seems to be highly raved, meaning friendly, helpful and responsive. Good customer service in this era is so hard to come by, trust me. And coming from a similar industry where I always try to provide top customer service to my clients, this definitely plays a big part in my decision. But still, I have to find out for myself if the tech support is as good as the online reviews claim to be, right? So I decided to be a mystery shopper requesting for support. So since Caster is located in Canada, I thought to drop them a chat message during their prime time where it's supposed to be the busiest. So I stayed up till 5 a.m. Singapore time, which is around 4 p.m. Canadian time, to check out how good their tech support is. Okay, okay, so the last question I asked was kind of lame, but the main point is this guy, Joven, from Custer Tech Support, totally aced my test. So he got me on the line, answered two questions, thanked me for the time, in a mere 10 minutes. 10 minutes! Nowadays, I don't even get a reply from my own friends when I WhatsApp them for more than 30 minutes. So my conclusion, Custer, pass. So there you have it. A super in-depth review of the Custer service and why I chose them to be my live streaming platform support, mainly for their top-notch service, great features, competitive pricing, and of course, most importantly, the ability to improve my production quality so I can provide a better service to all my clients, which of course eventually allowing me to command a higher fee for my services. If you'd like to check out Custer's service, do click on the link below and I've provided more links in the description below. Before I end this video, I would like to say it really means a lot to me if you found any of the information today I shared useful and if you can give this video a like. So it encourages me to continue making such videos for you. If not, feel free to leave them in the comments below so I can work on my future video content to bring you something that you like. If you want to learn more about photography and videography or learn about the services and products I personally use to improve my production quality, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. And of course, check out two of my other videos here. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know. But if you have any questions regarding Custer, ask their tech support.